Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and we're going to start this project off with this bottle cap that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm going to pull the hanger off, and I'm going to give it two good coats of white paint on the inside. And I'm just using white acrylic paint. You can use chalk paint, it's totally up to you. I just used a regular white, making sure that I get all full coverage, because I don't want any of that tin to show through. Next, I am going to take this napkin that I got from Walmart, and I made like a pattern of the back side of the bottle cap so that I knew kind of where to place my design and how big I wanted it. And I went around with my water brush and just kind of pulled the napkin off using my template. That way there, I got exactly the size that I wanted. I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge down right on top of that paint. And I got a brush hair in my Mod Podge. I hate when that happens. So I'm just doing a thin coat, making sure that it's all even. Don't put too much Mod Podge on, it'll take forever to dry. So once I have that all on and all even, I'm gonna set my napkin inside and just kind of press it down lightly with my fingers. And then I'm just gonna let that dry. I use my heat gun and kind of push out some of the wrinkles with my heat gun. You can put a plastic bag on your hand, that works pretty good too. So once I have that all on and it was all dry, I'm gonna take another coat of Mod Podge and I'm gonna kind of put a thick coat just around the edges. And I'm just gonna kind of let it be thick and I'm not spreading it out, I'm just kind of dabbing it on. I'm going to do this all the way around the whole sign, right around my whole design. And then I am going to take and add some glitter to that. So I'm going to put my mat down so I can save my glitter. And then just sprinkle the glitter all over that Mod Podge. Make sure that you get it fully covered. And then just bang off the excess. And look at how pretty that is. Next, I'm going to add some greenery to the bottom. So I just grabbed these two greenery picks, and these are from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to run a coat of glue, hot glue at the bottom, and then just push my greenery into it. And I just cut two little pieces off of one of the bigger greenery picks. And look at how cute that is. And now I'm going to add some glue on the, the sides because the I didn't like how the greenery was like popping out. So I'm just going to kind of push that down into the glue on either side. I didn't want it hanging off. And then I have these little pearls that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put those right in the center of those two pieces of greenery. Kind of like little snowballs. And it also adds kind of like a shimmery effect to it because they're like spark, not sparkly, but shiny. And I just think they were really cute. And I thought they looked really cute like that. Looked like little berries or snowballs. And how cute is this? Next, I'm just going to take a different piece of jute. I didn't like the hanger that came with it. I didn't like those little plastic pieces that were on it. So I'm just going to add a new hanger. So I'm just going to push the jute through and then tie it off in a knot once I figure out about how long I want my hanger to be and then just cut off the excess. And that is it. How adorable is this? And so super easy. And I absolutely love the way it looks. I have a tree that I do in my kitchen that's all like woodland themed. So this is going to be perfect for that. I absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.